Coach, off of three straight wins, heading out on the road this week to see Davenport. What have you seen on film? What are you looking for in this game? What's, what's Davenport going to bring to the table? Yeah, another big game. Um, another tough uh, conference road game here. Um, so we're looking forward to our opportunity. Um, you know, Davenport presents a lot of challenges. Um, they're a really athletic group. Uh, they're physical. Um, they got a lot of transfers, and so uh, they're they're a very dangerous team. Um, they've been very competitive um, in six of their eight games this year, and so um, you know it's going to be a big test for us. Uh, one we're looking forward to, and um, we're really uh, excited for our opportunity here to uh, to continue and maybe take this uh, win streak to number four. The uh, rushing game got going last week. A lot of different sources come, uh, coming through for you. You had four guys with uh, seven carries or more. Uh, Michael Horror gets in the end zone a couple times. Tommy gets in the end zone again. What did you see from your running game that you really liked last week? Yeah, I really like the way our offensive line's playing. You know, we um, we're rotating some guys in. That we're playing more bodies up front. You know, and we're we're starting three redshirt freshmen up front. So that's obviously exciting. Redshirt freshman quarterback, and you know, we have a redshirt freshman running back that's rolling in there. So we got. We got a lot of young dudes that are playing really well, so that's um, that's really exciting. But it's 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 great when it's um when it's more than just Tommy Scott. You know, Chris Nelson's running the ball well. Tyler Amos running the ball well. You know, um, then you start factoring in um, you know Colby Newberg running the ball and Michael Horrell running the ball, and you know we'll get Casey Williams back this week, and so it's um, you know we got a lot of uh, a lot of different weapons at our disposal, and uh, the offensive line and the tight ends um, are playing great, and blocking great, and um, uh, I think we've had some more growth this week um, at practice, and so it's been another another really good week, and we're we're excited. I think our our run game is going to be something that's going to be a um, you know strength of ours uh, heading down the stretch here, and um, you know we've made a lot of progress in the passing game over the course of the last three weeks, so uh, we're really healthy. It's the healthiest we've been, and so uh, just taking a lot of confidence um, you know into this week, but also um, staying humble and and staying hungry and and focusing on what we need to do to be at our best touched on a little bit with the passing game with the success of the running game. Are you looking to get that, that offense opened up a little bit more with some opportunities in the passing game as well with Colby? Yeah, you know, it, we're really just a, a take what we can get kind of offense, you know. So whatever they're going to give us, that's what we're going to take. So we're not going to try to force the issue. But, you know, if, uh, if teams want to load up on the run, then obviously we got a lot of, a lot of good players um, on the outside in the perimeter um, that we can go ahead and take one-on-one -on -one matchups. So it was, it was great to see Chad Galliard. Um, get in the end zone last week and and get going and Chad's Chad's really had a great week and he's been he's been getting more and more healthy so this is the best I've seen him run around um, in a long time and you know then Isaiah Johnson Mack um, has been very consistent for us and uh, Casey's had a good week it's good to see him back flying around and and Derek Hinton's back healthy so you know a lot of a lot of weapons um, you know and Colby's really, really been doing a great job you can see his confidence growing and um, you know Tanner Zelensky's doing a great job as well at practice he's he's making a lot of growth and um, and then, then Mike's been uh, a great, great, you know, teammate and coming in and taking advantage of his opportunities. So uh, it's really cool to see um, um, we're playing really good team football on offense. Um, and that's what makes it fun, you know, and everyone feels like they got a role and uh, they can have an impact on the, on the game. And that really, I think, helps our preparation um, in the same way on defense. You know, we're, you know, we're defensively at practice. I mean, we're rolling, we're rolling two and three deep, you know, at, on the defensive line, at the linebacker position, like so, we're getting a lot of guys um, reps in practice and getting a lot of guys prepared um, for the game. So, you know, when we have a situation when somebody goes down, the next man is ready to go. Um, and so we've been we've been rolling that way all year, and it's uh, I think it's going to really pay dividends down the stretch here. Touched on the defense a little bit. Who's, what what position group or individuals are going to have to step up this week against a team like Davenport on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, you know, really looking for our defensive line to dominate um, the line of scrimmage. You know, um, th this is a game where our defensive line can really, um, you know, impact the game in a positive way for us in terms of stopping the run, getting pressure on the quarterback. Um, they do have a new quarterback, um, so he got his first start last week. But he's a, he's he's an older guy. He plays baseball there, um, so he's a dual sport athlete. Um, he was a really good um, high school high school football player in the Grand Rapids area. Um, you know, he's coming out his senior year, so he can run, he can throw, um, so he's kind of a wild card a little bit, and so I thought he did a nice job last week coming in for his first start against Northwood and, and really did some nice things, so uh, I'm, I'm sure they're expecting him to maybe have a little bit more growth here going into a second start, so, you know, we want to make him as uncomfortable as possible, and so, you know, we're going to be rolling bodies in and out um, on the defensive line, and you know, and then our, then our linebackers, um, you know, I think are, are the healthiest they've been in a while. And so we're excited we got all, everyone back at that position. And 
um, they're they're really uh, uh, one of the strengths of our football team. I mean, they're really connected as a group, and uh, they're really reading their keys and, and playing fast. And so, um, really looking for our front seven to to dominate. And then, you know, our back end has been really consistent. We're I think we're second in the nation and taking the football away. So. Um, we've been very consistent every week, uh, taking, taking the ball away a few times. So I look for uh, us to get pressure on the quarterback and then hopefully give our, uh, our secondary some opportunities to make some big plays. I heard that they're thinking about renaming the GLIAC Special Teams Player of the Week, the kind of Luxic Award. <laughs> He's won it four out of eight <laughs> weeks now. Um, what, what has he meant to this team this year? I know we've talked about it a couple times, but to win that award four times in eight weeks, to see what he's doing in the kicking game as well as the punting game, what has he meant to this team this year? Yeah, you know, Connor's been really consistent. You know, and Connor brings a lot of energy, and Connor's a super competitive person, so that makes it really uh, fun. I think he's the most competitive, um, you know, specialist I've ever been around. Um, and so he's, he, he's fiery, gets excited, so he, he gives us a lot of energy, you know. So he, he, he banged, I don't know, 49-yarder today in practice in the win, and, you know, he's fist pumping, and guys are cheering. So uh, he, just, he just helps, you know, uplift the team. And when, when he rolls out there, you know, our guy's got a ton of confidence in him, and he knows that, you know, the team's behind him and that we believe in him. And so um, he, he's looking to have a big game this week. You know, he's, he's, he's expressed that, you know, the last two opportunities that he's had against Davenport, he, have, he hasn't played his best game. So he's really been fired up and focused this week to go out um, and, and put on his best performance. And I, I still don't think he's played his best game yet this year either. So, you know, the message to the team all week's been, hey, let's go play our best game. You know, we haven't played our best game yet um, this year. And so that's exciting. And um, the guys are really buying into the fact that, you know, we can continue to grow and continue to get better. And so, you know, we built up some momentum. Um, you know, we're, 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 almost, we're catching fire here. And so, um, so we're just trying to stay humble and stay hungry and uh, continue to, to have a growth mindset and, and, and have the opportunity to go out there and play our best game and um, really put a complete game together. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.